This presentation will help new users to get started using Tezio Suite with a Tezio 3 evaluation platform. To get Tezio Suite, go to www.st.com or contact your local ST representative. For this presentation, the user is assumed to have a basic understanding of Windows, that they have already installed Tezio Suite on their computer system, and that a Tezio 3 evaluation platform is connected to the PC with a UART interface of some kind. Tezio Suite can be started either from a desktop icon or from the Windows Start menu. Here we'll start by using the desktop icon. When Tezio Suite loads, it will try to connect to an attached device by searching the available COM ports for NMEA data. If successful, Tezio Suite will start with the signal level and sky view windows open. For some UART device connections and baud rates, the auto detect mechanism may not work properly. To demonstrate how to make a connection in this case, I will select file and new session to clear the connection. This opens the configuration session window. This is how Tezio Suite starts if no device is detected automatically. To connect to an attached device, select Add Device. The Configuration Device window then opens. Here we can set the device hardware type and binary image version. These values are used for identification and log files, but are not critical to the operation of Tezio Suite. In this case, the type is set to STA8090, and the binary version I'll set to 458, which is the version of firmware as flashed to the evaluation platform. Next, I'll click on the Add Control Port box and specify the protocol. In this case, NMEA. I'll select the COM port number, baud rate, data rate, parity, and stop bits. The defaults are what are shown here. 115.2K, 8 data bits, no parity, and one stop bit. I'll then hit OK. Save the settings and close the window. Now we'll have a device added to our session. Click on the Connect Control Port checkbox to allow this device to be connected to. If the Record Control Data checkbox is selected, data logging will automatically start when the device is connected to. Logging can also easily be started on demand with a simple button click. So I'll leave this unchecked for now. Click on the power plug icon to connect to the device. If the connection was made, some of the icons in the toolbar will no longer be dimmed. Clicking on the icon that looks like an I with an N in it will open the NMEA command window. Here we see all of the NMEA data that is streaming from the device at the fix rate. By default, this rate is one hertz. To start logging the data to a file, click on the icon that looks like a CD with an N on it. The CD will turn red, indicating that logging is active. Whenever logging is enabled, a new file name with the session name, device name, firmware revision, and a time date stamp will be created. These log files can be found in the user documents folder under SD underscore Tessio underscore suite slash logs. Here they are. So these are standard ASCII text files that can be opened in any text editor. Back to the NMEA window. Besides just displaying the NMEA stream, this window can be used to filter data, parse specific messages, and send NMEA commands to the device. For example, on the left is the message filter window. We can filter messages by clicking on the X to turn off all the messages. Find a message we want. In this case, we'll select GP RMC and then hit refresh. Now we can see we're only displaying the GP RMC messages in the window. To restore to the previous state of displaying all the messages that are sent in the stream, we can hit the check all button, which is this green check mark, and hit refresh again. 
and all the messages are back. Another way to filter messages is by using the pattern filter box at the bottom of the window. Here we can just type in RMC and only messages with the text RMC in them will be displayed. This is case sensitive. So for example, a quick way to see the CPU data would be to type CPU. The final way to view the data in this window is in the message decoding area on the right side of the window. Here we can select a specific message in the dropdown. Once again, we'll select GP RMC. And then if we have the follow last frame received checked, every fix we will see the new message decoded in this window. In this case, we can see the timestamp, position, velocity, and course. There are other windows that are available. Um, we have the PVT window, signal level window, sky view display, charting for parameters that are selectable by the user. We also have a map display. There are many other features in Tezio Suite. For further information on the features presented or what other features are available, please refer to the Tezio Suite user manual. This is accessible from the help menu within Tezio Suite. This has been a presentation to get new users started using Tezio Suite with the Tezio 3 family of products. For further information about ST's Tezio line of GNSS devices, please go to www.st.com or contact your local ST representative. Thank you.